Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is day 72. And I am Antique Alicia and I'm the CEO and founder of Your Own University, where we really take you seriously. Because you're your greatest asset, <laughs> really. And only you can know you. You can go through tons of classes and courses and, and exploration. And eventually, I think, at the end of the day, we either know or we don't know ourselves. And I believe that that's going to bring us back to um, a lessons and learning and understanding. Um, and the more that you know yourself, the more that you accept the good with the bad, the more that you choose what you want to change in your life, the more freedom, the more peace, the more joy you have. Um, the greats that are teaching right now, uh, Wayne Dyer, Carolyn Mays, are some of my greats. Um, you know, but Tony Robbins and Richard Branson and Oprah, Brandon Bouchard, you know, they all say the same thing, that self-development is key to success. Whether you want to have success in losing weight or you want to have success in your marriage or you want to have success in business and finances and, and that freedom, personal development is what sets apart those who do okay from those who really thrive in this lifetime. And the trick about personal development is it's not one-sided. Nobody can teach you but you. It's a, a really great leader will ask you great questions and, and it's up to you to dive deep into your heart, your soul, your essence and, and discover who you are and, and why you're here. And I feel fortunate that I get to be one leader uh, you know, in a sea of people who are really dedicated to personal development. I've watched people heal from miraculous illnesses. I've watched people just get happy when they thought they never could be and find peace within whatever's going on in their life. And that's why we have your own university. So I'm um, really excited about the membership at your own university. We have so many beautiful coaches that are really teaching and, and we've made it affordable for everybody. So if you want to stand out from the crowd, um, definitely check out yourownuniversity.com. And that's um, the reason why I do these videos is to reflect on my own university and how I live this life and how I've moved from you know, being sick and, and being depressed and being sad from a traumatic childhood and um, moved into you know, a decade of illness with cancer and adrenal failure and, and depression and just my thyroid was off and things were off in my body, right? To having a decade of pulling it all together and being really happy to this decade that I'm in now. It's really a beautiful thing. And I feel fortunate to be able to pass that along to you guys. So that's the intention of, of these videos. But yesterday, mine was tested. And I wanna talk about people in your life that come into your life to question you in a way that is trying, that is accusatory, is blaming, is um, assuming the worst, and is, um, you know, and then, and then pass, passes those judgments on. Because it's, it kind of sucks. And I went through a period of my life where I got to hang around with um, one of these people that is, really coming from a place of love and that's what I learned. So this is the the learning thing and the remembering thing of all of this. And when somebody questions you, when somebody accuses you of something that you really feel like it triggers you, it makes you get mad and err, your stomach turns and you're like, Ugh, then um, what's really happening is that is a sign within yourself. That's a sign within myself to say, is that true? And if it is, it's the opportunity to do something about it, to change whatever it is, to change whatever that judgment that came at you, that flew at you, that you honestly probably have of yourself or else it wouldn't trigger you to say, oh, ugh, I don't want that, or that's 
that's true, I don't want that, how can I change that within myself? It's also an opportunity for you to allow somebody to completely and totally carry around their own judgments and say, they say something to you, you feel triggered by it, you question it, and then you're like, oh, wait a minute, that's not me. That is something about somebody else maybe you judge or it's something you're mirroring or it's just theirs. And it's an opportunity to to not be codependent, to really allow them to be and drop that own image and that own insecurity within yourself to um, drop any definition or fear of yourself being who you are accused of being. Now, we have these messengers in our lives, we have these people in our lives to test us, to trigger us, to really help us grow. They're not necessarily negative people, they're not necessarily bad people, they're just people that have some sort of agreement with us, a spiritual agreement I believe, to, to not be very nice and to trigger and trigger and trigger us. And you know, they might be really close into your life, they might be far away from your life, but but they're there to trigger us in order to question ourselves so you know who you are. And everything that they say isn't true. Like probably most things they say aren't true. So if you have been dealing with somebody in your life who's accusatory, who is negative, who tries to paint a bad picture of you, who, um, who might you might feel is like really just not not a blessing at all try to look at it in a different way definitely step away from get out of the situation all of that but look at it a different way what are they triggering in you just take that as a blessing and then ask yourself these three questions one is it true and if it is you have the power now to do something about it you can choose to change that behavior um, that reality of yourself and and move on Two, um, is it true about them and if it is then they're just spouting out their own fears their own judgments of themselves and this is a place where you can have more empathy for them and where they're at and three is it someplace that you that you judge other people about is it something that is triggering you because you really think that it's bad, it's negative, it's not a good thing to be, and so you judge other people around it, and them accusing you of it is making you see your own judgments. And in this case, the really most powerful thing that we can do is really drop judgment. Don't be the judge. It's not our place to be the judge. Biblically, it's not your place to be the judge. Any other facet is not your place to be the judge. It's not my place to be the judge. And it's our opportunity to see where we're judging and to drop that judge. There is a video on YouTube about like seven, oh my goodness, I don't remember what it is, but um, if, if I can remember it, I will. But it was like seven ways that we marry each other or something. I forget the, doc, the person who led it to, it was beautiful. It didn't, it even had more into this. But basically my bottom line, what I remembered yesterday is some people are brought into our lives to stir up our crap, to share with us where we're judging, to show us our greatest fears so we can face them, so we can look at them, and so we can transform them and transmute them and transcend them and let them go. And that's just how it is. It's not pretty, it's not a good relationship, um, but in a way, it is a blessing. So when you have those toxic relationships in your life, utilize them to the best of your learning ability and let them teach you about you so you get really clear and really confident. And then eventually somebody will accuse you of the same thing or say something as a test from the universe and you'll be like, not triggered. It won't affect you. And you'll be like, huh, well, I know that's not true. I know me. And I know where my heart is and I know where I'm coming from. And it no longer will bother you. And that is true freedom. And yesterday I got a piece of true freedom shown to me. And then I got another trigger. So we'll deal with that. 
Love you very much. Thank you for watching all of these. Tell me what you think. Subscribe to YouTube here. That's one way you can get them. You can also get my newsletter. Get more insights there at AntiqueAlicia.com. You can also find out more about your own university and our nonprofit, Divinely You. Talk to you soon. Bye.